We are back now with Fan Long, founder of Conflux. Um, just want to remind you guys, uh, uh, check out all the things uh, uh, during the breaks and everything. Be sure to hashtag SmartCon and talk about uh, the cool talks you see and tag people on Twitter. Fan, I'm going to hand, hand it over to you to let you talk about Conflux. Take it away. Great. Thank you. Well, uh, it's a great honor to present here. So I'm going to talk about uh, Conflux uh, technology, what's the current status, and I'll, also I will briefly talk about uh, the blockchain landscape in China, so if I have time. So I'm Fan Long, the founder of Conflux, and uh, well, this is the impossibility triangle, uh, scalability, decentralized. So you will see that uh, you, you, we will see that many times, which is uh, talking that uh, it's uh, impossible to uh, have a both a scalable, uh, have a scalable blockchain and also decentralized and the security. This is because uh, every participant has only access of uh, OC resources. And uh, well, a question that uh, people are asking, did not ask very often, is what's the resource limit OC for normal computers, like the laptop that I'm giving the talk. The, this, uh, well, today I'm going to tell you that actually our laptop or normal computers can process far more transactions per second than you can imagine. Like uh, if you think about P2P network, the P2P network uh, now actually have a more than 10 megabyte BPS and the transaction per second is 3,000 to 6,000, it's easily hit. If you think about the storage and the compute, compute it can both do more than 2,000 or 4,000 transactions. But why we end up with uh, now a lot of uh, blockchains on the layer one blockchains only be able to process a very little, is it because of proof of work is very slow? Actually not. Well, it is because the distributed system is a kind of a building a system of building a barrel and the bottleneck is actually limited by the performance of the system is limited by its bottleneck. And now the bottleneck is a consensus, but to build a fully scalable system, you need to hit all of those uh, 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 potential bottlenecks, like a fix that makes storage faster, make compute and network faster. And this is what Confluence has been working for uh, two years is to build a whole new stack of uh, layer one uh, blockchain and make it scalable to reach, reach the uh, potential of the, uh, of the normal computers. So this is the goal of the Confluence and why we are, what have we have been working on. And to realize this goal, we start with the standard Nakamoto consensus, which uh, many of you guys have been familiar with and we try to build on top of the ghost consensus and our new gas consensus and ordering algorithm in Conflux achieve a high performance, safety, and aliveness uh, guarantees. So the reason why a lot of the uh, proof of work consensus algorithm being very slow uh, is because it always have to follow the rules of a proof of work, follow the longest chain, and it has to have a very slow and a small block generation rate. The reason why it ha has to have a slow and a small block generation is because the network has to slow down to wait for the consensus uh, algorithm to make sure that uh, the to make sure that the, to make make sure that the fork uh, there is no fork generated because the fork will cause the network to trigger. Uh, uh, to, to uh, well, causes fork and it will causes uh, security holes uh, in the cons a lot of uh, normal consensus algorithms like uh, Nakamoto consensus in Bitcoin. So people may ask, if we want to speed up this, what if we run Nakamoto consensus with a large and a fast, uh, well, with a large and fast block generation? And uh, here's what would happen. If we just simply like speed up for the block generation or block size, we will still have a longest chain or some sort of agreed chain, agreed chain with the algorithm, but uh, it will downgrade the safety 
and also for Coral Basin network and the processing resources. So longest chain in this cell is what well, uh, in this play, in this scenario will not be safe because when we have a lot of forks, suppose the longest chain has only 10% of four blocks, then the attacker suddenly will only need more than 10% of the computation power to reverse the longest chain. So what uh, we have been innovate, uh, being innovative in Conflux to work with the new consensus algorithm, which we call it a GAST. The GAST really uh, really have this uh, adaptive subtree and uh, we will assign different weights to the generated blocks. And from the genesis, we will iteratively select blocks whose uh, subtree has uh, the heaviest uh, total weight. So it, the gas algorithm will, uh, will creatively uh, try to navigate to detect whether the network is under certain attack. And in normal scenarios, we will assign equal weights to the blocks, operates like a ghost and near uh, optimal throughput and the confirmation latency. And when attack happens, we we'll assign high weights to only a small set of block and make the whole system uh, operate in a very conservative approach. And in that way, we will fraud those attack and ensure the progress. What gas can enable is to make sure to to make sure that the uh, block generation rate is very fast. So, well, to, be, to work with gas, Confluence operates a tree graph structure, which is uh, uh, our novel structure that organizes blocks into several, uh, to, not, to make it uh, like a DAG, director signal graph. But it also has a tree embedded in this graph, so that we call it a tree graph. And what it does is that for every block, it also records not just its parent, but also all the blocks that it sees as the reference edges. And this would enable the system to, to enable the algorithm to, to have us to selectively, to selectively, to selectively select the order, uh, to, to, uh, to encode all the concurrent uh, encode all the concurrent blocks uh, into the total order and make the total order uh, make the uh, total order to contain all the blocks. So what one tree graph functionality is be able to determine the weights based on the past subgraph and detect whether we are facing certain kinds of attack, attack or not. So it will test, test whether the past subgraph is stable and if it is true, then we will assign the same weight for every block. And if, the, uh, if uh, this past subgraph is, uh, is uh, uh, passed, then we will, is now, no, we will assign weight edge for one edge blocks, only multiple jump blocks. So this will enable that all honest participants agree on the same weight, so they will uh, react to the attacker cooperatively. So Conflux, after, the, after using the gas to find a even chain that every, every participant can agree with, then we will have a Conflux ordering algorithm. We have an ordering algorithm that deterministically defines total order, contains all blocks following the reference uh, chain, and, uh, each, and in each pivot chain. So here, for example, when we have a tree graph, we will split the pivot chain blocks, and each pivot chain block will form one epoch. And then the epoch, the independent, every blocks of the of the pivot chain will belong to the epoch that uh, the first epoch whose corresponding epoch uh, whose uh, corresponding pivot chain happens after. So, for example, D belongs to the epoch of E because E happens before E but does not happen before C. Same applies to the block J. J belongs to the epoch of H uh, because the H happens after J, but the E, e are generated parallel with uh, J. So we, we, with this algorithm, we will order, a, order based on the epoch first and the topological sort of blocks in each epoch and the break ties on 
block ID. So for this graph, for example, the block total order after we start with the epoch would be Genesis A, B, C, D, F, E, G, J, I, H, K. So with this, with the total block of uh, total order of block, we will be able to derive the total order of uh, transactions, and this will give us a uh, 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 deterministic way to order the transactions and to execute. This transaction could be simple payment or could be smart contract transaction. And execution. So for example, we could now the confluence could uh, support all the GBM transactions and. Uh, uh, could support uh, smart contracts. For example, we have implemented the chaining smart contract to be able to use uh, uh, cell phone messages to control the smart contract deployed on uh, Conflux. So with the tree graph, we can, this is a safe against attack because the attacker cannot revert the transactions unless it reverts uh, the pivot chain and it's very hard to deliver the pivot chain unless he or she controls for 50% of the blocks. So we have implemented the conflict, and uh, now the, all the uh, conflux, uh, all the conflux source code is uh, open source in the GitHub repo of conflux Rust. And welcome to Trizo. I only covered today's key algorithm, and there are implementation, there are, some, there are a lot of implementation details and optimization we made to speed up on different layers like storage, networks, and others. So those uh, are just a few that we did in this, uh, uh, in our conference implementation. So in the lab, we have evaluated the conflicts in the, uh, uh, to up, up to 12k different nodes, and uh, the throughput we could reach uh, 9.6 Mbps, which could translate to 3,000 to 6,000 transactions, depending on the size of the transaction. If you count to the Bitcoin size of transaction, it would be 3,000. If we count the Ethereum size, it could be close to 6,000. And we can confirm those transactions in, uh, in less than one, one minute. This is because we can generate blocks very fast. And with our technology, we also replay the Ethereum's history transactions and they get a very cool results and be able to execute the last, uh, the first seven months of the Ethereum transactions within uh, half hours in our Conflux platform. So this is a, so Conflux has been one, uh, Starting, Conflux has been launch, uh, launched around like uh, 2018 of uh, May, and we have been undergo two years of develop development. And our uh, second phase of Midnight Oceaners is already live, and now we have uh, more than 1,000 nodes online. Of work, and now, and uh, we will launch up net makes the network fully decentralized uh, in the October, the end of October. So uh, a lot of guys are deploying that and it will have the full functionality and compatibility with the VM. So you can use Solidity compiler to de develop your favorite smart contract and deploy that. And we have developed, for example, demos, how to send out uh, uh, messages to uh, through the Chainlink framework to control smart contracts on Conflux. So our Conflux development in China has been following a very unique path. I would say that we are taking our uh, regulatory or comp regulatory compliant route to develop the public chain. So because China has a, uh, it's a very special market, uh, we so because China market is a very special market. It has a uh, a lot of uh, it has a lot of special rules. So we are trying to stay within the red lines that are drawn by government, uh, drawn by the government officials. So, for example, of government officials uh, never like you to do ICO. Yeah, 
never like you to participate in any pump and dump scheme or have a special tail, also centralized changes. So we are following that route and our our effort has been paid off, partly because our team has composed of the top scientists uh, in China and uh, uh, our through our through our collaborations, through our regulatory approach, government has started to appreciate what we're doing and collaborating with us to be the next generation uh, public chain. So they recognize us as a serious team trying to push the boundary of the blockchain research. For example, we have uh, established a uh, uh, joint uh, research institute in Shanghai. Uh, in Shanghai, and this is a collaboration with the Shanghai government. So this has happened on January 9th, and uh, the deputy mayor, uh, and our chief scientist, doing what we know, Professor Andrew Yao, uh, opening our research institute ceremony in this photo. And uh, we want to, our, uh, our, we present to the government basically say we are really trying to push the boundary of the blockchain science and blockchain technology. We are a group of scientists and we really want to help uh, uh, representing China to define what the next generation blockchain public chain should look like. And uh, uh, following up, we also recently have been endorsed by Hunan government, Hunan province province in China and uh, we will they will use uh, the Hunan province will use Conflux technology to build uh, government to build infrastructures to collect and organize government data and try to we will try to use Conflux technology to help facilitate the data sharing and make sure that uh, uh, those data are properly used and have uh, properly used and properly encrypted. So we have, uh, uh, this is actually a map that uh, shows the current live node, the, uh, the current live, uh, trusted live node that are participating in the phase two format of uh, Conflux and uh, 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 of, uh, of, Conf uh, of the participant in the second phase of the Conflux network. And those each of the dots representing one of our Conflux community members running one of the full nodes. Well, one of the full nodes, and uh, we want to see more joining to the network. And uh, if you want, if you want to, uh, if you want to join the Conflux network, you can follow in our uh, website. Look at the, the developer. Uh, look at the, our website and the developer materials. Uh, we would love to have more people to uh, to try Confluence techniques. And uh, in our first session, in our first uh, uh, in our first phase, uh, sorry, in our first phase of the mainnet launch, we will provide credit for developers to deploy smart contracts on top. Conflux, and uh, here the, this link is actually a uh, 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 Conflux Explorer. You can see that we have uh, uh, thousands of nodes participating in the mining. It's a proof of work mined, and there are new blocks generated every uh, second. We'll generate two new blocks, and uh, there are transactions. Uh, uh, there are also transactions from our already deployed DAX uh, D apps on Confluence networks. We have a JavaScript SDK, Go SDK. Uh, you can very much interact with Confluence in the way that you are familiar with when you interact with Ethereum, just uh, with the uh, transaction fee significantly uh, lower than Chica. So I would love to see you there and uh, uh, in the uh, launching of the conflux at the end of October.